Hey guys, it's me, Christina Marie. So I understand that I'm going to get a lot of BS comments and a lot of crap from a lot of my viewers for doing this video, for what I call this video, but I'm going to call this the Fat Girls Makeup Tutorial. And yeah, and I'm doing it on myself because I think I'm just in that, you know, one of those moods or one of those times in my life where I gain like a tremendous amount of weight. And obviously girls who wear their hair down on, their, on the sides of their face makes their face look more slender. But check it out before I start. If I take it off, you can see all the weight problem right around the chin area and in my cheeks and on the sides. So yes, I'm criticizing myself, but that's me criticizing me. So if you guys want to leave a comment, go ahead. But <clears throat> whatever. Um, 170 pounds. And I haven't been this, I haven't actually said that out loud ever, but I'm starting on hopefully a, a weight loss diet or just going green or whatever you want to say soon. So hopefully you guys get to see a difference in me. Let's start the tutorial. It would be to get a foundation and put it all over your face to camouflage any imperfections. I am using the Naked Foundation. I want to get it on camera for you guys. The Naked Foundation, I think it's uh, 4.5. That's my shade color. I'm using this foundation out of all my foundations because I want to give some shine to my face. And I want to give shine because I want to make my skin glow, make me look a little bit youthful. Because typically, when I gain weight, and as much as I've gained, I look fatter. So... Why not make your face look perfected and take away any things? I mean, take just, you know, perfect your face. Look prettier. Look younger. Take the focus off your fat cheeks or your fat ass. I don't know. Whatever. So we're going to put that all over your face. Once it's all over your face, I'm not going to put a powder on this because I want to keep that sheen. Once it's all over your face, take it down through your chin. This is the biggest thing that make women heavy is the fact that they stop right here. And look, what would it if I actually stopped at my chin and I didn't continue? It's going to put a line here and focus all on that between, you know, the gobbler gobbler and your actual chin. Okay, so once that's on, what you're going to do is you're going to get a dark colored eyeshadow. I like using very dark browns. Dark matte colored brown. Put it on a fluffy brush or whatever skinny, whatever brush you got. Take a little bit off on your hand so you're not applying too much. We're going to go right on that turkey gobbler I was talking about. And shadow down. Sides. Sides. Shadow down. Now, what are we going to do about this big chin? Take some on the brush. Pat it on your hand. And camouflage that darn turkey gobbler. Hopefully I'm not this depressed about my weight come the new year. Okay, so... Get some more. We're going to put it in. Okay, so you make a fish face. You see where it caves in? At the top here. Make circular motions. And apply it. You see the difference? Now, you can see it, but only because I showed you. If you saw me out on the street, you would think that's just my natural, eye, my natural shadowing. Okay, now what's this do? If you look at me... Like head on, it makes my cheekbone stand out more. So it gives me a more slimming effect. I'm going to do it on the same side. And then we are going to do it at the temples because people who are very skinny and don't have as much fat in their face, it caves more here. So you're going to put it here and put it there and blend it in. Now, the way you want to remember that you're doing all three spots is you make a three. You see it? Bam, bam. Oops. Bam, bam. Okay. <clears throat> Once that's on, you're going to get your blush. 
whatever blush you're using. Let's just use this one by Physician's Formula. Now, uh, people, uh, especially makeup artists, can, can argue whatever with this next step that I'm going to say. But I like not to make the focus back here on my fat. If you have fat on your face like I do, back here. I like to make the focus up front. And... It depends on your face shape. Let's say like I'm all fat just within this area right here. Then I don't want the focus to be over here. Okay. And if I'm all fat back here throughout, this, uh, then I don't want the focus to be right here. You want to take the focus away from the fat. There. Easy. I should just said that from the beginning. So what I do is I apply the blush in the apples of my cheek. Boom. Easy. Breezy, easy breezy, cover girl. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so like I was saying, you get your highlighter. And what you do is you place it on the upper cheekbone here. And you're going to do this because I'm bringing attention to my cheeks here. Giving me that natural glow that you have when you're very young. Or when you eat a lot of spinach. Because everybody knows you eat a lot of spinach. You get that healthy glow okay so I did that I want to bring it on the bridge of my nose a little bit on the upper of my lip let's bring some focus to your lips because we're going to make them look very plush and you can optional put a little bit right there that's it oh wow check out how white my lip turned out but that's fine okay that's it so next step I know I'm going step after step after step let's make those lips wall bam beautiful right I'm going to take um, this lip shadow, which is Jordan, Jordan, <laughs> uh, 20, okay, and check this out. So what you're going to do, let me get close for you girls, is you're going to kind of smile. Okay, see, you can see how defined my widow's, my widow's, my widow's lip <laughs> This is stupid. Um, how to find my upper lip is right here, right? But I want to have more plush lips without overdrawing them too much and looking like a clown. Okay, so you're going to connect those dots. Do you see? Now, we're going to go on the very... This is going to sound weird. Okay, I'm going to show you the difference. So I'm lining over here. On, on my line, just a little further out. Okay, so this one, I just, you can see I did it a little further out, right? No, not really. So I'll line this one actually on the line so you can see the difference. Do you, do you see a difference how this one comes out more? The reason I want it to come out more is because I want those really plush lips. <clears throat> Hey, because you know what? If I'm too heavy, at least I want to have a good looking face and some lips somebody wants to kiss. Okay? So line the bottom. And then do that exact same thing. But come out more right here in the center. And don't come out too, too, too far on the sides. Okay? Now check. Now line. The inside. Just shadow it all in, right? See? Okay. Take a lighter shade real quick. Whatever you got. I'm going to take this, I don't know, this cheap whatever. You can see it's very shimmery. And you're going to put it in the center. Now, do you see what it did? It gives you, like, three-dimensional lips. And if you feel like this is too wide up here, you can just rub your finger in it and blend it downward. But I think it's fine. But you can see the difference in the lips, how the light focuses right in the center. So you have bigger, uh, kissable, want to be kissed. Okay, so you get an eyebrow, an eyeshadow that matches your eyebrows. I already did this one right here. And the reason that you do your your eyebrows is because think about it. When you see a balloon and it's all just one color, 
it just looks really fat. And then if you actually were to draw on the bloom and do a design on it or give it some whatever, it makes it look smaller than it is. So this is the reason why we do our eyebrows. So you get an angled brush and you take your brow and you make an angle right there. You see straight up and then you come on the top of it. Think about it. If it's if you have blonde eyebrows and you're very fair complected, come down on the side. You're just making your face look fatter. It's just the darn truth. Okay, once you draw those three lines, you're going to come up and you're going to shadow in your eyebrow. And if you shadowed it a little bit too dark, go run and grab a toothbrush or grab one of these brushes and just comb it through. I'm going to put my eye shadows on and be back. Now do you see with your eyebrows done how it defines your face? It gives it more shape. You obviously can see makes a big difference. So don't ever forget to put your eyebrows on and don't put them on so flipping dark where you look like the cookie monster. Okay, I'm going to put on my eyeshadows. For my eyeshadow color, I'm using uh, the Mocha Latte by Avon. It's a very good palette for anybody actually. So I'm taking the shimmer in it and I'm putting the shimmer all over the eyelid here. Now, if you're as young as me in your 30s, in your 20s, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> that was so stupid what I just did. Anyways, um, if you're still young with not that many wrinkles, uh, do not put all of this shimmer in the lid. Put the matte one like it says. Okay, so I put all the shimmer in the lid. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to get this dark and I'm going to put it in the corner, making like a V, just like that. Coming back and blending it. And I'm doing this because I'm opening up my eyes a little bit more. Depends if you like this look, you can do it. If not, you know, just go with what you feel comfortable with. This color, though, by it's by Avon. They're like $5 online. Um, is a phenomenal, phenomenal color and a phenomenal palette for absolutely anybody. Okay, so I took the light shade and then I put it in the crease. You just saw what I did as I'm talking. Put my eyeliner on. Okay, so this is the finished makeup look. All I did was put some eyeliner and mascara on and that's it. Now don't forget, one of the biggest things besides your makeup is your hair. And the majority of you girls honestly do not know how to curl your hair. I'm just going to be flat out honest. You, you make them too curly and you look like you have a puffball. So anyways, um, so a no-brainer would to be wear sleek hair, wear straight hair. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like because you're not putting any focus on your face. You're not making it any bigger. It's nice and sleek, nice and flat, and it covers all those problems er problem areas. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. Like I was telling you, um, it's more slimming to the face if your hair is straight on the sides because... If I did wear it up or I took it off my face, you can see the fatness. But the makeup actually helps, like I say, hide all of that. I realize I was a little bit tipsy in this video, so uh, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> you guys ex have to excuse if any of the comments were offensive, but that was just me speaking on my per about my personal self and how I felt. Um, and let's hopefully see the next few videos, me slim down, slim down and get back into shape. So if you guys enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up and make a comment. I am Christina Marie. I'm out. Bye.